Hi everyone, it's Madison Hawkins and today I'm going to be demonstrating on how to tie a tie. I know most likely a lot of people here don't wear ties and that's okay, but it is always a good resource to have in your back pocket. According to correlated.org, only 67% know how to tie a tie, but that was only surveyed out of 550 people. You know, as we get older, we find ourselves dressing up more often, whether we're just going out or maybe even going to a wedding. And people there will most likely be wearing ties. And sometimes it can take a lot of people a lot of time just to put on a tie when it really only takes like 30 seconds max. So if you learn how to tie a tie, you will be saving a lot of time, whether that's for yourself or maybe even for a friend. I personally do not wear t do not wear ties and one time I was going out with my friends and somebody there was wearing a tie he didn't know how to tie that tie so instead of him going out and googling it and taking probably 10 to 20 minutes just figuring out how to tie it I just went ahead and did it for him in like 30 seconds so we saved a lot of time there all you're gonna need to tie a tie is a tie so I just grabbed this one and since I am dominant with my right hand I am going to put the wider part of the tie in my right hand and the skinnier one in my left I just put it around and you're gonna want to make sure that the back side of the tie is going to be laying down against you so the outside is facing out and typically when you wear a tie, you would most likely be wearing a collared shirt, but since I don't wear ties, I don't want a collared shirt. And I always thought when I was learning how to tie a tie that you would make these equal, but that is far from the truth. So just pull it to right about there. And with the wider part in my right hand, I'm going to take it and cross it over the left. Remember to it goes over the left side and then now I have the wider part in my left hand and I'm going to simply push it through the back and pull it all the way down so now I'm here and you always want to make sure that you're keeping everything tight so in the end it's not all loose and in my left hand I still have the wide part I'm going to wrap it behind just like that and as you can see I have the back side of the tie facing out and now it's in my right hand so I'm going to take the wide part of the tie and put it through the hole right there and pull all the way through keeping it tight you should have this it's a little triangle and now the wide part of the tie is still in my right hand so I'm going to take my left pointer finger and place it right over that knot that we have just leaving it there taking the tie I'm going to wrap it around my pointer finger I'm just going to pull it right here. I'm not going to move my left pointer finger at all. So with my right hand in the tie, I'm going to push it through the back side, pulling it all the way down. Now that I'm here, you can see I just pulled that through right there. And since I put my pointer finger right here, I created a hole for the tie to go through. And this is the last step so I'm gonna take it and push it through that hole that I created with my finger and I'm just going to simply pull it down pulling it tight and then to pull it upwards all you're gonna do is take these two parts of the tie and just alternating pulling it up and tightening it to where you want it to sit 
as you can see that was not a long process as you get faster with it it would probably take like 30 seconds if that it is important to know because you could be saving a lot of time whether that is for yourself or like I said a family member even if you don't wear ties and always remember practice makes progress.